everybody. Today I want to um, do a flip through of my school binder for this um, coming school year. This is a Foxy Fix um, A5 ring binder. It is made out of the Rowena leather. It has turquoise stitching and I've got the Fancy K monogram on the front and the Fox monogram on the side. Um, and it is absolutely lovely. I adore it. It's fabulous. It's big, but it's solid and it's going to be wonderful. Um, I used a lot of printables and items from shops on Etsy and a couple of other shops. And I'm going to link all of those items down below in the description. So if you want to know where anything came from, look at the video description and you'll find links to everything. Okay, so let's get started. Um, I did my binder in a Harry Potter theme. So um, I'm a Harry Potter fanatic and I thought it would be fun for my whole school binder this year to be Harry Potter themed. So over here in the pockets, I have some clips that I purchased. These are the one item that I cannot remember where I got them from. I'm sorry, shop owner out there, if you're the one who made these, um, please feel free to link your shop in the comments, but these are fabulous and I bought them so long ago that I cannot remember where they came from. Um, but there's those. And here is my cover page. This is a printout um, from the Marauders map. There's a shop where you can get a full size Marauders map and then fold it. Um, and this is just a part out of the center of it. And I got a free Harry Potter font online. So my name and my school for this coming school year. Here we have a um, dashboard from an Etsy shop, which I'll link below. And then here I have um, this, these, by the way, are Foxy Fix dashboards. This one and all the dashboards in here are Foxy Fix, the actual plastic. This is a four-part dashboard, and I have die cuts um, from Sweet Stamp Shop. So Sweet Stamp Shop sells stamps for all of these images, wizard stamps. There are three different sets here that I use. And what I did was I stamped each item on a piece of white cardstock colored them with Copic markers, cut them out, laminated them, and then cut them again. And I'm gonna keep these in here for, well, first of all, just because I think they're adorable and they make me happy, but also to give out to other Potter fanatics if somebody needs, um, if somebody needs a, um, a pick-me-up one day to the kids if one of the students wants one. So I'm gonna show you all the different items here. This is the sorting hat and Harry's broom. Those two items will be kept right here if they want to go in. I have these crammed pretty full. Then we have Harry and the wand stamp is separate. So I, this stamp actually, the stamp of Harry actually just looks like this and even the lightning bolt is separate. Um, and I just put those together. So there's Harry and he's gonna go in there. And then, of course, we have Ron. So cute. And Hermione. Again, that wand stamp is separate. And then on the other side, we've got Fox the Phoenix. These little stars are separate stamps, and so I just stamped them all around. Of course, you got to have Dumbledore. There's Dumbledore with his purple robes. Luna, I, I love her with her Spectre specs on. She's just fabulous. Luna. And of course, Hagrid. There he is, Hagrid. All right. So this front part is mostly just decoration and to make me happy. Then I have vellum dividers here. These are also from Foxy Fix and I got the idea from um, Cindy Gwentert Baldo to um, leave these unwritten on and unprinted and just put the pattern stuff behind it, which I thought was really cool. I also used the font that I found online to make tabs. Let's see, is that gonna focus? No, no. 
there we go, um, to make tab labels. And I just cut it, I printed on sticker paper and then cut it out with a gyro cut. Um, so that made that really easy. So the first section is for my calendar. Here's another Foxy Fix dashboard. This is a piece of original artwork that I got for being in Cindy's Patreon group. And here is a really cute printable from the Fox and Pip. And then on Etsy, I bought a set of four um, coordinating papers, digital papers. So I printed out, here's the Ravenclaw paper. And this first section is my calendar, monthly calendar. So um, this came again from an Etsy shop, which is linked down below. It's They're undated and unmarked. So I can use them every year if I want to. I do still need to go through and stamp all the dates in. Um, I have not, I actually had done that on another calendar set. And then when I decided to change this to a Harry Potter binder, now I have to do it all over again, but that's okay because it's gonna be super cute. So here's all the months from September through June. And then another dash, uh, I'm sorry, vellum divider. The next section is my pacing guide from the county. And here is a printable that I got, dashboard printable, proclamation and the Marauder's Map and Gryffindor paper. And the pacing guide, you teachers out there know, this is, our county puts this out. It's the four marking periods and what you're supposed to teach when and how long you're supposed to take on every topic so that by the end of the year, you're not suddenly three units behind. Um, and this is the one from 2016-17. They are updating our curriculum this year and have not yet put out the new one, but I'm gonna use this one until I get that one. Um, and then my next section is going to be the workhorse of the planner. This will be my lesson plans, my daily lesson plans. I only teach one subject, so I'm pretty lucky that I can just use one lesson plan format. Here's my ticket to on, for the Hogwarts Express, platform nine and three quarters, and this cute daily profit. And we have the Slytherin paper. And then here are my lesson plan pages, and I'll get this a little bit closer for you to see. I adapted this from a book called Accessible Math. Um, there's a template in the back that's sort of similar to this, and I kind of moved it around. So I, I teach in Virginia. SOL stands for Standards of Learning. And yes, the fact that it's SOL is not lost on us. Um, so every this is uh, a page per day. The objectives for the day, my warm-up activity. I teach math, by the way, so math problems here. The uh, lesson activities, vocabulary that the kids, I uh, need to make sure that they understand, um, common errors that they, that I know over years of experience that they will make on whatever today's topic is, so I can be sure to address those before they happen, and then a reflection at the end of the lesson. And I just printed these, instead of doing A5, I printed these on letter paper, two to a page and then just cut it in half. So it's a little bit shorter, a little bit, I'm sorry, narrower than a true A5 would be, but that's okay. So there are 180 of these in here, so one for every day, and that will be all my lesson plans. Then I have a tab for meetings. Here's the Hufflepuff paper. And I found this paper also on Etsy for notes. It has this really cool drawing, like engineering drawing of a broom stick, which is kind of awesome, the little Quidditch rings up there. And so um, again, I printed these and then cut them out and I printed about 10 of these, not too many. And then I have a package of Foxy Fix dot grid um, paper in here for other notes and items. And then my last two tabs, I'm not sure what I'm gonna need yet. I'm moving to a new school this year and I don't know what all kinds of things they're gonna want us to keep track of and what I might wanna have in here. So I left the last two um, tabs blank, but I did download some pretty watercolor artwork. Here's Hogwarts, again from Etsy. And here is Fox. I think that's really pretty. And then in the back, I have scraps from that digital paper. I took the scraps and just taped them together and then laminated it. That helps keep the back of this notebook um, firm. Otherwise, this leather is kind of floppy. Um, and then I have a cute Ravenclaw um, did, what do you call this? Die cut. Oh my God, I just completely lost my mind. Um, and this is from Kina Prince. And again, I will link that down below. So here you go. This is my teacher planner for the fall. I'm sure that I will add things to it. I'll probably move things around. So if things change a lot, I'll do an updated flip through. But I know people have been asking how I'm going to be using this for the fall. And so here it is. I hope you guys enjoy. If you have any questions, let me know down below. Bye.